Okay, this music scare still scares the shit out of me, but she's come out of her suit. Watch out! She's gonna try to grab you. Mei Ling, Samus took her clothes off. Anyway, and uh, this music still scares the shit out of me. And uh, but I'm gonna get the trophy because I forgot to get it in the uh, in the octopus battle. By the way, these apparently these have nothing to do at all with the story. Uh, but they're there just to for the hell of it. So now, a raging raven doll. So that makes a great gift for Sunny. Uh, whoa! God, great. I need to take a new weapon out. God, I really don't like this music. It's unpleasant. So anyway, that wasn't creepy at all. Still not creepy in any way. And my dog, for some reason, is, is barking. It's very hard to tell if she is crying or not because she's also sweating. But uh, anyway, and here's our little item that we get from here. Out of all the items that you get out of uh, the things, the um, the third one and the first one are honestly better because I never used this one or the fourth one. Now we're gonna take this time to take a bathroom break or a drink break. Way to bring that bird down, Snake. Drebin. And you got yourself a souvenir, too. A grenade launcher. Nice. That's a real user-friendly weapon. Not much use to me without an ID, though. I laundered this one free of charge. What's the catch? Only that you give it to me when you're done with it. A weapon with that many decades of rage stored up inside it? Now that's a collector's item. How old was she? I'd say about 20. But she had years of soldiers' rage hidden away in that youthful body of hers. Soldiers? Yeah, the soldiers of Ake. A place that hasn't seen peace in a long, long time. She was captured by one side or another, and kept caged up like an animal, along with God knows how many other kids. Anonymous violence. Exactly. It's unknown whether her captors were with the government or the rebels. In any case, they got their kicks by abusing these helpless little kids day after day after day. That constant barrage, that battlefield rage slowly built up inside their bodies, their minds. The kids tried to keep each other's spirits up, always clinging to the hope that someone would come to their rescue, barely surviving off of scraps of food. But those soldiers didn't stop. They called the kids parasites and shit-eating ravens. Beat them even harder. Then one morning, the soldiers just up and left, leaving the surviving kids to be eaten alive by the birds. Almost like one of those sky burials. One by one, their bodies were picked apart by ravens' beaks, until finally the flock came for her. But by some miracle, their beaks cut her bonds instead. And like that, she was liberated. But in that instant, she was filled with an uncontrollable rage, and it smothered her soul. She ripped the ravens pecking at her to pieces, and then went after the soldiers. 
And when she finally caught up with them, she waited until nightfall like a hunter awaiting its prey. They say that when a raven cries, a man dies. And that's exactly what happened that night. Screeching and cawing, she killed every last living being in the camp. Both the soldiers and the civilians they'd enslaved. In her eyes, there was no longer a difference. The cruelty her friends had suffered. The pain and humiliation she'd endured. Hers was the distillation of the rage that decades of war had imparted on those soldiers. Mm. It was her strength. And her greatest weakness. You're something else, Snake. You managed to cleanse Raven of her rage. No, seriously. You're the seed of war. In fact, I'd say you might even be war itself. Draven. Maybe it's still too early to tell. You've still got half the B&B &B core ahead of you. Keep your eye on the ball, pal. Well, that was disturbing. Anyway, now the with the MGL or the MLG. Now I got the Raging Raven face camo. Which I don't think will actually have any use. Well, anyway, now to press the start button. Snake. I have to apologize. The three vans that came out with us are decoys. The real one is floating down the river, headed downstream. I managed to get in touch with the children. I am the box Thanks ghost. We're going to rendezvous on the river bank, downstream. Land and air routes are cut off. But there's a cruiser waiting for us. The Volta River is our only chance of escape. Hmm. Oh, Doesn't seem to be too much here. blood. Hurry. Then again, she is Good old. Thinking. All sewers in Europe lead to the rivers. Remember that. This way. No water treatment plants, apparently. I don't need to feel the wind anymore. There's no need to keep lying to myself. I only get off my bike when I fall in love. Or... Yeah, you think? Well, this hint kind of shows something, but at the same time, it's proven that they already know where they're going uh, in a little bit. So this little bit is completely useless. Because it's obvious that what happens next couldn't have happened without a lot of planning ahead. <laughs> 